Good morning, my children, and once again, welcome back to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. For today, my children, we're going to continue with a brand new letter that is part of the letters of the alphabet. Remember, this topic, also numbers from 1 to 20, are the most important parts of Kinder 2. So that's why it's very important that besides watching the videos, besides doing the activities, you dedicate at least five more minutes to the English class to, re to the review and the continued study of these two topics. Recuerden chicos, es importante que a pesar de ver videos, a pesar de realizar sus actividades, ustedes le dediquen cinco minutos adicionales a la clase de inglés para que puedan repasar estos temas muy importantes que estamos trabajando. La serie numérica del 1 al 20 y las letras del abecedario. Para el día de hoy vamos a continuar con una nueva letra, pero recuerden, tenemos que regresar a todas las que hemos estado viendo, a todas las que hemos estado trabajando para poder unir, para poder unirla con esta nueva letra. Let's begin. Now, behind the teacher Jacob, I have all the letters that we have been practicing, we have been studying, okay? So, we're going to associate the letter with an object. Vamos a decir la letra y un objeto que podemos asociar con esta. Let's begin first with the capital A. The capital A for ambulance. Capital B, first, just the teacher. Then, we're going to start with the pronunciation exercise. Ahorita nada más vamos a poner atención al teacher. Después ya haremos nuestro ejercicio de pronunciación en donde repasaremos las letras que hemos visto hasta el momento. Ahorita, solo el teacher. Capital B, for banana. Capital C, for coin. Remember, moneda. Capital D for dragon. Capital E for elephant. Capital F for fish. Remember the fish, the animal of the sea. Capital G for girl, grandmother. Do you remember what is a girl? Girl in Spanish, niña. Grandmother, abuela. Now, Speaking about the letter G, yesterday in the video we studied letter G in small form. Hablando de la letra G, el día de ayer trabajamos con la letra G minúscula and we saw, vimos two new objects, vimos dos nuevos objetos. We saw glass and globe. Remember the glass, it's an object that is made of plastic or crystal that we use to drink water. And the glove, remember, part of the family of cloth is not the hand. Glove one. Very good. Now, after capital G, the letter of today, we have capital H. Okay? Capital H, as you can see here, Okay, looks like a ladder. Now, a ladder in Spanish, escalera. La H mayúscula, capital H, parece una escalera. Very good. Now, we can join it after capital G. Ahora sí, que ya vimos nuestro repaso, okay, y ya vimos el nombre de la nueva letra, ya las podemos unir. Vamos ahora sí a empezar con nuestro ejercicio de pronunciación from capital A all the way todo hasta llegar a capital H. For this, remember, the teacher Jacob is going to say it very, very loud with all of my energy. Please repeat after me. Vamos a repetir tanto la letra como el objeto. Let's start. Capital A. Ambulance. Capital B, banana. Capital C, coin. 
Capital D. Dragón. Capital I. Elephant. Capital F. Fish. Capital G. Girl. Grandmother. And capital H. Once again. Una vez más, bien fuerte. Capital H. Very good. Now, for capital H, once again, we have two objects. We have the hat and the hammer. Let's talk about characteristics about these two objects. First of all, the hat. Hat in Spanish, sombrero. Hat, it's considered an accessory and part of the family of cloth. The hat is an object or a cloth that we use on top of our head to look handsome or to look more fashionable. En el caso de los sombreros, chicos, estos pueden ser considerados accesorios o parte de la familia de la ropa. Recuerden que los sombreros son objetos que nosotros utilizamos arriba de nuestra cabecita para, pues, a lo mejor vernos más atractivos o vernos a la moda, ¿ok? O a lo mejor si estamos en un concurso de disfraces podemos utilizar uno, ¿ok? Ahora, now, there are a lot, a lot of different types of hats. The most common are the ones that, for example, do you know what is a mariachi? Mariachi it's the person that plays an instrument and plays in groups. Recuerden, por ejemplo, los mariachis, si ustedes los conocen, un mariachi es una persona que toca un instrumento, pero la toca en grupo, en otro grupo de personas que tocan diferentes instrumentos. That is a mariachi. Ellos utilizan un sombrero muy especial, muy específico, muy particular. There is another type of hat, For example, the ones that the magicians do when they practice magic, for example. Otro tipo de sombreros son los que utilizan los magos, como el que tengo aquí, de este lado, that has a star, el que tiene una estrellita. Estos los utilizan los magos cuando hacen sus trucos o cuando hacen algún tipo de hechizo, por ejemplo. Okay? So, the most important part of the object is that hat... Okay, which is, once again, sombrero in Spanish. Hat begins with the capital H. Let's continue with the next object, which is the hammer. Now, hammer, it's an object that we use especially for construction. Maybe if we are building a house or if we are building a door, we require a hammer so we can hit it and stick it to the wall. Hammer in Spanish, martillo. Recuerden que los martillos son objetos que nosotros utilizamos cuando construimos algo. Especialmente estas personas como son los obreros o los que trabajan en construcciones utilizan este tipo de martillos cuando construyen casas, cuando construyen puertas, ya que este objeto, el martillo, sirve para poder sostener el objeto a una pared. Sirve que al momento de golpearlo, quede pegada a la pared. ¿Ok? That is hammer. And of course, the most important part for this is that hammer begins with the capital H. Very good. Now, let's practice our pronunciation exercise for these two brand new objects. Remember, the teacher Jacob is going to say it first. Please repeat after me. Hat. Capital H. Very good. Hammer. Capital H. Remember? Hat, sombrero, hammer, martillo. Excellent. Now, 
the activities of today are part of your teddy book and they are located right here. The first activity contains capital H for the hat. Remember, hat, sombrero. What we have to do here, the most important part, is to trace capital H correctly with our pencil. Now remember, we have to hold our, pens, our pencil properly when we start tracing these activities. Now, while you are tracing the letter, it's important to repeat the name of it. Recuerde que en estos ejercicios de trazo, lo que importa es remarcar correctamente y repetir el nombre de la letra. Capital H. Capital H. Capital H is for, ham, is for hat. Hat, sombrero. And this object uses capital H. Now, of course, you have more examples to trace. So, after finishing with all of them, we continue with the second part of the activity, which is to paint the object of today, the hat. Now, on top of the page, we have a small sentence that says, en la parte de arriba de nuestra página tenemos una pequeña oración que dice, Mexicans, Mexicans are the people that live in Mexico. For example, the teacher and all of you, my beautiful students, we are Mexicans. Me Mexicano, recuerden, pues es la persona que vive en México. Así como el teacher Jacob y todos ustedes pequeñitos, nosotros somos mexicanos. So it says, Mexicans, los mexicanos, where utilizamos big hats, sombreros grandotes. Mexicans wear big hats. Los mexicanos utilizamos sombreros grandes. Ok, very good. After finishing with the first activity, we change the page, cambiamos página, and we concentrate with the hammer. The same instructions, my children. The important part of this activity is to trace all capital H. Okay? All of them. Remember, while we are tracing it, repeat the name of the new letter. Mientras remarcamos, repitamos el nombre de la nueva letra. Capital H, capital H, capital H is for hammer, hammer in Spanish, martillo, and the hammer is an object that begins with capital H. Okay, very good. Now, after finishing tracing all of the examples of the letter, we continue with the second part of the activity, which is paint the hammer. Ya que hayamos terminado de remarcar la letra H, continuamos con nuestro segunda actividad, que es con, nuestro, con la segunda parte de la actividad, que es el coloreado del objeto hammer. While you are painting it, remember, repeat the name of it. Mientras lo coloreamos, es importante repetir su nombre. Hammer, hammer. Hammer. Now, the hat and the hammer, you can paint them with the colors that you want. There is no particular color for each one of these two new objects. En el caso de estos objetos, ustedes pueden colorearlos del color que ustedes gusten. No hay un color específico para estos dos objetos. Okay? Very good. So, that's it for today, my children. The teacher Jacob, ah, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention it. That on top of the page, we have a small sentence. Tenemos una pequeña oración. It says, dice, My father, my father, mi papá, my father, has a hammer. Mi papá tiene un martillo. Very good. So, that's it for today, my children. The teacher Jacob, as always, is very happy with all of your beautiful attitude, with all your excellent effort. We'll see you tomorrow, continuing with the letter H in its small form. So, until that day, have an excellent afternoon. Take care. Goodbye.